In your Ag Impact coverage tonight, we are turning to the corn fields. And no, we're not talking corn sweat. If you see people walking through rows of corn right now, they're likely detasseling. Today, a lot of this is done through automation, but some people still do it by hand. And tonight, News 8's Haley Bickelhoft and Chief Photographer Scott Weiss show us how it's critical to the future of our food and fuel. And then you'd find something like this, you pull that. It's a rite of passage in rural areas. You pull that. People like David don't just walk fields of corn for fun. This is my 13th year. They're creating an environment to crossbreed plants and creating new hybrids for farmers to grow. You need to pull the tassels so that the pollen's coming from the plants that you desire. Kyle Burke is a research specialist at Wiffles. And there's a lot of research that goes into these fields. A lot of people know that like, if your corn's knee high by the 4th of July now, it's not doing very well, you know, so um, a lot of that has to do with the hybridization process. To create a hybrid, you blend two varieties. Workers pull tassels, which are the male parts of the corn plant. Then the correct plants release pollen, and it's collected by the female part, the silks on other plants. We're pulling that so it doesn't pollinate itself. We want the males on the ends pollinating them, not the females pollinating themselves. Well, it's quite the workout here in the field. People like David walking about 17,000 steps at least a day. But the reward for that effort pays off big in the future. The work you guys are doing out here is incredibly important to, you know, not only Wiffle's operation, but, um, you know, agriculture's longevity in general. The crossbred varieties boosting farmers' yields, withstanding both wet and dry weather. That was my first year. There's also personal benefits for people like Brady, too. Just waking up early getting off late, working outside in the heat, uh, just talking to people, meeting new people. It's just taught me to do a good job. I mean, be thorough with what you're doing. I mean, what we're doing out here is very important. So whether it's your 13th or your first year pulling tassels. These aren't pulling so easy. It's creating a field of opportunity for the corn and the people in the community. In Geneseo, Haley Bickelhop, WQAD News 8. It takes about five to seven years for the corn we showed you to get bagged into a finished product for farmers to buy. Wiffles is sifting through thousands of hybrid trials, but they only introduce less than 10 new seed varieties to farmers every year.